All right, so I walk into this Goodwill and immediately find three Harry Potter books just staring at me. So I take a look around and find a couple more. And, you know, these are these are books I'll flip all day long on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I usually pick them up here for a dollar and, you know, I'll flip them for four, five, six bucks on Facebook plus shipping. So always a good deal. Uh, wound up picking up five of them. Um, that was kind of my start to this Goodwill hunt here. Uh, scanned a few other books, didn't really find much. I wasn't really looking for books, but I'll always kind of go check out the sections and you'll have to excuse my camera work here. I'm trying to film with one hand, scan books with another. I've got, you know, five books in my hand at this point. So I was a little uh, disheveled, I guess you could say, trying to figure out how to keep the camera straight and scan and hold these books at the same time. I eventually had to go get a cart, but um, yeah, scanned a few more books, just saw something interesting, tried to see if there's any money to be made, but there wasn't. So uh, I took my Harry Potter books and... That's pretty much all I got from, from this place here, or at least from the book section. Um, but I did pick up some other items as well. Okay, so I'm still at the same goodwill here. Um, I've had some luck finding some, you know, Build-A-Bear bears and bunnies and things here. So I'm always checking out the toys in this goodwill. Uh, come across a few little games here that I check on, but nothing really worthwhile. Um, I really don't do a whole lot of games unless they are sealed. Simply because I don't want to count the pieces. I know there's a lot of good money in games and board games and whatnot. Now, I'm always looking for things that are kind of out of the ordinary that I don't really recognize or anything like that. But, you know, most of these are your standard. You know, there you see Taboo and some other, uh, you know, regular games. But I'm always looking for different board games. I um, was checking out this little sports toss game. It was kind of like a... Uh, Corn, mini cornhole type thing, but it really wasn't worth anything. But, I, you know, I've picked up a few board games, but they've always been sealed. But here, you know, you see Trivial Pursuit, Battleship, Chess, just some simple things. Um, I always check out these bags as well. I don't know as much about toys as I do some other things, but... You know, there's a few things that I look for. I'm always looking for some Legos for a buddy of mine who's always looking for, you know, Lego toys and whatnot. And he's a big Lego dealer. So kind of check out some of those. But I don't find anything I'm really interested in. Scan a few items. You know, I, I was looking at this 3D puzzle. <sighs> Maybe I should have got it. It really wasn't going for a whole lot on eBay or Amazon. But I'm thinking maybe I could start bundling puzzles together, especially some of those 3Ds, because I find them occasionally. And that was sealed, still in the box. So uh, maybe next time I'll pick that up. You know, I'm still hesitant on a lot of different items because I'm just learning. Um, you know, it wasn't the most exciting 3D puzzle. You know, some of them are really cool and interesting. But anyway, I let it go, passed it up. 
uh, just trying to find better things for my money, I guess you could say. If you do know games and you see something in here that I should have picked up, let me know. I'm always, you know, I'm trying to learn. And, you know, one way I learn is, you know, from talking to other people that have, you know, more knowledge than I do on certain things. So please let me know if any of those games, you know, uh, should have picked up. Uh, again, checking the toy aisle here. Um, yeah, again, I'm not. You know, I don't really know a whole lot of toys, so a couple things catch my eye, but I don't wind up picking up anything here. Uh, maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. I'm always looking at the plush dolls. I see NC Picker does really good with plush dolls. But, you know, a lot of things don't have, you know, this this little guy had a tag on it, but a lot of them don't have prices. Uh, I found some really cool skates you'll see here in a minute, but there's no tag. And a lot of times, you know, that has to go through the whole process again at Goodwill of being, I don't know, it's just, it can be a pain in that rear. thought this was cool as the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, uh, but it didn't really... It didn't really do anything. It didn't seem like it held any. Like it was just kind of a blah toy. Uh, even though it's Star Wars, so I let it go. Didn't didn't pick that up. Um, again, I'm you know I'm slow to move on toys, just simply because I'm not real sure what their what their value is. A lot of times, um, always kind of hitting up the plush, trying to find some build a bear or something really interesting. Um, here I'm about to check out these children's shoes. Uh, you see those skates on the bottom left? Those catch my eye. They look in great shape, but there's no tag whatsoever anywhere on them. And that can be a frustrating thing about Goodwill. You know, it's hit or miss as always. Uh, I don't even know if that's a good brand. I don't really know anything about skates. Uh, you know, this is Texas, so I let him slide because, you know, no pun intended there. <laughs> but uh, didn't didn't pick him up because it really didn't know the value or the cost. Um, I've picked up some cool mugs in here before, and you'll see here in a second. I, I see these uh, kind of beer stein mugs. Um, a couple of them were based on military outfits in Germany or Korea. I think one of them was, uh, you know, again, I live in a huge military area with Port Hood right here. Um, but some of them were pretty cool, but you know, again, are they collectible? I don't know. I need to figure that out. Um, bought one at a garage sale a while back that I thought was really cool. And it is, it's, it's going to be a keeper for me, but it's not really anything to that's worth selling. So, again, still learning. I uh, thought that one was really neat. Uh, you know, half liter mugs there. Uh, but I left them. If that's something you think I should pick up, let me know. Uh, they're probably still there. Again, there, that one you can see is a, a military mug there. Um, but, you know, some interesting stuff. Now I'm just, as, as I'm saying all this, I'm hoping my audio matches up with my video. I have to do a, a like an overdub, so to speak, because of the music in Goodwill a lot of times. They had some unopened ink here that I was really interested in, but I didn't pull the trigger. It didn't seem like it. They had different colors. All but one was sealed. Um, I probably should have bought them and lotted them up, but I don't think it would have been that great of a profit based on the the ink and I, I wanted picking up another inks in a different goodwill and it, it should be a money maker but here I was scanning the ink here but I wound up leaving them behind
Okay, so I really kind of struggled with a few of these items here. I think in the end I make a good call. Um, I was looking at this Ninja coffee machine. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it here in a second. It was missing the carafe. Um, and it was really kind of dingy and dirty, which I guess could be cleaned. Um, but, you know, I really wasn't sure if it was worth my time. I think it came with a carafe. I tried to find something similar to it online uh, on eBay, and it looked like the one that I pulled up that was just like it had a carafe with it. So um, there it is on the right there. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what it's like on eBay. Um, if it sells, ninjas are just such great products. But I really wasn't sure. This is where I'm kind of on the fence with a lot of items. And most likely, you know, if I'm on the fence like this, I'm probably going to leave it behind. I mean, it was only six or seven bucks. Maybe it was eight. I can't remember. Uh, but it just looked pretty worn out. Um, it even had water in it. You know, later on, I lifted the little water section there and it was pretty pretty dirty st still with the water in it so nobody had cleaned it in a while so i wind up leaving it there i'm always looking for ninja products though those are some of the best but i don't know what what are your thoughts would you have picked that up and cleaned it and flipped it on ebay or would you leave it behind like i did i'm really curious you know let me know in the comments um, I'm still learning, so, you know, help me out here. Uh, if you flipped stuff like that in the past, you know, I saw something similar. Maybe it was the same model going for 50, 60 bucks. Um, you know, I just, I just wasn't sure. So if I'm, hes if I'm really that hesitant, I'm probably going to leave it behind like I did here. All right, so I am leaving the Goodwill that I just went into. Uh, found those Harry Potter books. Somebody must have just turned in their whole collection. There was five of them in there. Uh, books one through four plus, I forget the name of it, but it's kind of an additional one at the end of the series. It's not part of the original, but it's kind of like the eighth book. So I picked up those five and I cut off the camera because I was like, all right, that's it. You know, I'm headed home are headed to the next Goodwill. And then I decided to check on the shoes. You know, I haven't found much luck with shoes around here. Uh, the Goodwill seemed to be pricing them quite a bit up. So I gave it one little glance and I wound up buying three pair. Uh, I have not bought any shoes before. So this is a first. Uh, bought a pair of Brooks running shoes, some Nike track cleats, and I believe a pair of, what to say, Asics running shoes? Uh, not the greatest, but you know, I, they were half price, so I wanted to pay in about $250 a pair. Um, and you know, comps are running about $20, $25, bucks, so I'll take that. You know, I'm trying to build up my business, um, so you know, I'll take that kind of uh, margin right now, you know, especially spending $250. They were regularly $499, so got them half off. Um, but yeah, trying to get, get my foray into shoes. So, you know, they, they don't need a whole lot of cleaning, but, you know, I've been learning how to clean shoes and things, so I'm excited and I'm ready. So off to the next Goodwill and we'll see what we can find there. Uh, again, remember my goal was 50 bucks in profit. Um, I think I've already hit that out of one store. So we'll see. Uh, when we're all said and done, I'm gonna try to hit three today and we'll see where we're at. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm off to the next one. All right, so I believe this is the last Goodwill I went to. Uh, this is one really close to my house, and you know I like the hats here. I usually can find some decent hats, and you know you see that I'm looking at a U.S. Open hat from Pebble Beach in 2010. I wound up picking that hat up. Uh, I've picked up several hats here in the past. Um, I kind of like that that Dan Patrick Show hat that I, yeah that one right there. Um, 
I, I like it. It's been there for a while. But I'm not, I'm just, you know, I'm so hesitant on a lot of these things. So I didn't pick it up. Um, wind up picking up a couple hats here, though. Find this really cool, uh, I think it's King's Road Brewing hat. Uh, wind up picking that up. Um, but there was a, a few others that I was kind of on the fence with. But like I said before, if I'm really on the fence, I'm kind of leaning toward leaving it behind at the, at, you know, at least right now. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I like hats. They're easy. They're, they're easy to clean. You know, they're, I've found some pretty cool ones here and a few other local, uh, Goodwills. So one of the sections I always check out definitely, um, and had some pretty good luck here. So I'm hoping they'll, you know, the hats I've been listed on eBay will start to flip. You know, I'm just now getting them listed. So it's, it's all brand new. But the, the biggest find that I have, and I'm looking up a hat right now, I can tell you. Um, I, I'm struggling in these Goodwills without a bag. I don't have anything to clip my camera on to. So, you know, between filming with one hand, scanning some things, or looking something up with the other hand, <clears throat> I struggle with the filming at times. So that's kind of why it kind of goes haywire from here and there sometimes, like right now. Um, but I wind up making a nice score in the book section. Um, again, <clears throat> as I take a look at the electronics, had a really nice keyboard. This is where I left the vcr dvd combo the other day to look it up and a guy walked right behind me and picked it up moments after i looked at it still kind of kicking myself for that but anyway um always checking out the electronics you know i found all kinds of stuff in here um but really my big score is going to be with books and i didn't even you know i really didn't plan on scanning books but a few here that you'll see in a minute catch my eye one thing I've been interested in are these, uh, well, oh, I didn't even see the bread machine down there. Those, those I love. Um, although I saw one at a different Goodwill this weekend and it was 20 bucks. So I had to pass on it. Um, I've been noticing these Krups, I think they're Krups, uh, coffee machines. So almost pulled the trigger on one the other day, but it was kind of dingy and dirty. But here, <clears throat> I always just walk by the books and take a peek, but that set right there on that white set of books just kind of caught my eye. When I see a bunch of the same type of book, I'm probably going to scan one or two, see what they're up, you know, see what they're going for on Amazon. So that's exactly what I do here. I, you know, I take one down, scan it, just like, all right, let's see. Because if I hit on one, I might be able to hit on all of them. And guess what? I did. So I hit on all of these books. And, uh, you know, I'll show you later. They're anywhere from 5 to $8 profit for every one of those books. It's a, it's a series. Uh, I think they're... There's study guides or something to do with books of the Bible. So I've done really well with stuff like that. But I wound up picking up every one of those white books right there. Uh, plus a few other textbooks that I, I wound up hitting on. So you'll see all of that at the end of the, when I go over everything I picked up. But that was a nice score. All right, what's up everybody? I'm back home now and I wanted to kind of go over what I bought today. I hit up three Goodwills and I definitely got my money's worth and I definitely hit my $50 profit here. No questions asked. So let's start with the first Goodwill I went to. <clears throat> um, always go by and check the books. Looking for certain things, 
you know, looking for Harry Potter books. And apparently somebody just dropped off their Harry Potter collection because it was sitting right up front ready for me to grab. So I grabbed five Harry Potter books here. Okay. Um, this one, uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I know that's not a part of the original series. I guess it's more like the eighth book or something. I don't know. But here I've got uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, I usually sell these on Facebook Marketplace for anywhere from between like four to six bucks a piece. So I will pop those on and that will easily be, you know, I spent five bucks, a dollar a book. Um, I'll at least make probably 20 bucks profit off of that, if not more, depending on what they sell for. Uh, the same one, I decided to check the shoe rack before I left and I found some, some deals here. Uh, these are my first shoe purchases, so this is something I'm trying to get into. So if you look at these and you know about shoes and you're like, there's no way they're going to sell, let me know. Okay, these are some nice little brooks here. Uh, they were on sale for $4. Okay, they're regular $7.99. Uh, seemed to be in pretty decent shape, so I went ahead and purchased those. I got some Asics here, some gel, some running shoes that were in pretty good shape uh they look brand new on the top you know you can tell they've been used on the bottom a little bit but i mean they were really nice and i paid i don't know where the sticker went it probably fell off i didn't pay but about five bucks for those and then i looked these up uh, these are some nike track shoes in great shape they wanted five bucks for them um, they're selling for about 20 or so so in my mind I can get 20 to 25 for each pair of these okay um, at least so you know right there you're looking at if we say 20 bucks a piece you know minus fees um, you know if I paid five bucks a piece for them you know I'm still looking at making I don't know 12 bucks a piece off of them you know there's at least 30 bucks in profit there at least 10 bucks a piece there um so not bad you know i think i hit my 50 bucks right there 30 off the shoes 20 off the books there's my 50 bucks but i decided to keep going uh the next goodwill i went to I actually didn't buy a single thing didn't find anything uh shoes were no good books were slim pick i mean there were hardly any books there i uh, didn't find any electronics now that first store, you, you kind of notice, you might have noticed I was looking over that Ninja coffee maker. Let me know if you would have bought it. It's a little bit dingy and dirty, which I could have cleaned up, but I just really, without the carafe, and it looked really old, I really didn't know what it would go for. I tried to look it up on face, or not Facebook, eBay. Um, some similar were going for 50, 60 bucks. I don't know, I probably should have picked it up, but I'm still learning. And just didn't want to, didn't want to have it, you know, have to hold on to it. So I let it slide. So the third book, or sorry, Goodwill. I went to three Goodwills today. The third Goodwill I went to was a big store. Check this out. All right. So first of all, I picked up a bunch of books. I had no plan to pick up books whatsoever. Okay. So let's look at these. These are all textbooks. I love textbooks. All right. Here's a United States government book. This is a book we actually use right now. Okay. So let's pull out the little scanner here. We'll search this one up. Let you see it here. All right. So that one right there. Uh, you know, it says $18. Well, let's see. $17. I paid a buck for it. So let's put in our cost. It's saying $17. Maybe I get $15 for it. You know, you know when it sells. I'll take that. $15 bucks for one book. Here's another. Here's a government book. Let's see what it's telling us here. Sorry if my feet get in. I'm, I'm sitting on the floor in my living room. There's a $12 book. So maybe $10. Bucks. So right there, you know, just between the two books, we're looking at $25. This world history book, we actually use at my school. This is our regular uh, world history book. So when we look at it, it says 25. Okay, maybe I make 20 off of it in the long run. You know, right there, you're looking at 20. That's 45 bucks. And here's a management book. Here's 
And right there, that's eleven forty. So still, you're looking at maybe ten bucks. So you're looking at about fifty bucks in textbooks right there. And that's not where it stopped. Um, I picked up these hats. Uh, I really like hats. I thought this was really cool. Kings Road Brewing Company. I looked it up. It's out of New Jersey, I do believe. I don't know what part of New Jersey, but it just looked like a cool little hat. It's very clean. You know, paid a couple bucks for it. Um, three dollars so I'll probably flip it for maybe 15 to 20 you know it's a good ten dollar profit right there I love golf so I picked this up US Open Pebble Beach 2010 you know it's got the Pebble Beach the 2010 on the back it's a little uh, dirty but that can be cleaned so right there I think that's a good 20 25 dollar hat again paid three bucks for it so you know we're looking at maybe 15 to 20 dollars in profit so between the two hats there, I might make 25 bucks. I'll take that every day. Now here's what I wasn't expecting. Let me get to, well, let me get to this first. All right, so this HP cartridge here. I found an ink cartridge and I scanned a bunch of these at the first Goodwill and just didn't feel like picking them up, didn't feel like it. Um, but these here, this one is selling for anywhere between I think 20 and 35 bucks let's see the sold items 416 results so you know it sells often there's one brand new 30 bucks brand new 34 dollars brand new eight dollars don't know why they went that low oh it was an auction that's why um a whole bunch of them there here's another brand new one 25 brand new 34 brand new 20 so really anywhere between you know 20 34 bucks a lot around 30 that's pretty good for i think i paid four dollars or three dollars i paid three dollars 2.99 i'll take that and it doesn't expire until 2023 i made sure to check that january 2023 but another little score here that i had so again, I always walk by the book section, okay, just to see what's in there. And I noticed this kind of set of books, so I just started scanning them. So, let me pull all of these out here. I don't know if there's any duplicates in here, but they're all this William Barclay and they're the new Daily Study Bible you know about different books of the bible okay so you can see all the different books here james corinthians john and jude uh timothy hebrews romans apostles every one of these scans for at least about five dollars in profit okay they run anywhere from about five to eight dollars a profit they sell pretty good so you're looking let's just say five bucks a piece here that i make off of them so there is one two three four there's five seven eleven books that right there hits my fifty dollars in profit alone okay so you're looking fifty dollars in textbooks fifty dollars in these study guides to different books of the bible we're looking at 25 for the hats we're looking at at least 30 for the shoes, maybe 20 for the uh, uh, ink. So what are we looking at here? 125, 155, 175, plus about 20 for my Harry Potter books. Uh, so you're looking at maybe right around 200. Uh, plus I bought two golf clubs. I haven't looked them up yet. One was a ping 8-iron that looked pretty nice. I think I paid 3 or $4 for it. The other I'm really interested in because it was a left-handed, what looked like a fairway wood. So it was a Nike, you know, I paid, I think, three or four dollars for it. So I took a risk. I didn't look it up, just threw it in the basket and took off with it. So I'm thinking I'd make at least 10 bucks on those, if not more, with the ping and the Nike. So I'm looking at over $200 in profit here. Uh, only spent about 50 bucks. So all told, I think I spent 50, I have to look at my receipts, $53 maybe. Um, but I'm looking at over 200 in profit. So I'll take that four times my money overall. You know, some are going to make me more money than others. Some are going to make me quick money. Some it's going to take a little while. That's okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in this for the long haul. So I'm not, you know, trying to make a quick buck. I'm trying to make a steady buck. So I really liked my haul tonight. Three goodwills uh, on the way home from work. And essentially, you know, it's a $200 profit. So... I'm excited. Um, 
going to start getting some stuff on eBay tonight. Um, I figured out the other night I listed about $80 worth of, excuse me, pardon me, man. Um, listed about $80 worth of profit the other night. My goal is 500 a week right now. Okay, so I'm I'm going based off of potential profit of, rather than items. Um, so it's just how I'm going to figure it for now. And my goal is $500 a week listed in potential profit. That may mean, you know, five things. Probably means more like 20 or, or whatever it may be. Um, so that's my goal right now. I'm going to work on some of this stuff, put together this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit, you know, don't. Don't sleep on these religion books. I do pretty good with these. Um, yeah, and I was really excited to see this. I mean, practically a set there. Um, and that's what drew me to them. I saw a whole bunch of books that looked the same. I was like, well, let's just scan one just to see. And once one of them hit, they all hit. Anywhere from between like 5 and $8 up of profit there. on That would be on Amazon. So I'll ship those into Amazon, but I'll get the rest of this. Uh, listed on Facebook Marketplace and eBay, and I'm excited. So that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoy your weekend coming up. Um, I plan on hoping to hit up a, a big flea market down in Austin. Going to take the camera with me, see what kind of goodies we can find. We'll see if a buddy's going with me or not. Um, and then Sunday's up for grabs. Uh, might be out at the bookstore. Uh, might not have time. Uh, just going to kind of play it by ear and see what's going on might sell out there might uh might go you know thrifting at the, the flea market where i set up at who knows so stay tuned uh hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned a little bit um please spread the word you know hit that like button hit the subscribe it helps me out uh thank you for viewing and have a great weekend guys you guys are awesome we'll see you bye